This video is supported by Curiosity Stream. It's finally happening. If nothing goes wrong this time, Crew Dragon aboard Falcon Eye Block 5 will shoot for the stars on the 2nd March 2019. You know, I don't normally do this on my channel because most of the information I can share with you, you can find them as well online if you know where to look. However, this is not an ordinary launch and therefore it demands extraordinary attention. So here's what I plan to do with this video. I'll start with the information we all want to know, putting it into the context of what SpaceX has done to make it a possibility, and then I'll end with some of my thoughts on what is in store for SpaceX and for Crew Dragon in the future, linking Crew Dragon to BFR and the future of space exploration. Let's start. So here's what you need to know about the launch. Just like the other SpaceX launches, the new Crew Dragon will be launched aboard a newly updated Falcon 9 Block 5 that commands great payload capability. However, unlike anything that's launched by SpaceX before, Crew Dragon, the capsule that's designed for manned spaceflight, will command greater comfort and safety. This is a requirement by NASA called Loss of Crew, or LOC. The LOC requirement states that the odds of an accident killing or causing serious injury to a crew member to be no more than one in 270 flights for a 210 day mission at the International Space Station. This covers all aspects of the mission, including launch and re-entry. This is a significant improvement from the 1 in 80 number at the end of the space shuttle program. And if we're talking about more specific LLC numbers, the NASA CCP human rating standards require that the possibility of a loss on ascent is no more than 1 in 500, and that the possibility of a loss on descent is no more than 1 in 500 as well. This ensures the safety of our astronauts. With regard to comfort, the CCP standards also dictate that the astronauts should not have a sustained G-load of 3 Earth Gs, similar to what you would feel on a roller coaster. In fact, Google tells me that the scariest roller coaster on Earth pulls off 6 Gs, that's what astronauts felt during the Soyuz accident. Additionally, this launch will also be the first time SpaceX attempt autonomous rendezvous with the International Space Station. Unlike approaches by unpiloted Dragon cargo ships, which halted their approaches just short of the station and wait for the lab's robot arm to lock on and pull them in for berthing, the Crew Dragon will fly a computer-guided rendezvous all the way to docking at a modified port at the front of the International Space Station. It is also very important that SpaceX and Boeing test flights go on smoothly because NASA's contract with Soyuz is about to run out in July, and if both of them are not ready by then, NASA will have to work with Soyuz for a longer time and pay a premium for that as usual. Still, quite a few hurdles exist between now and then. On the 24th January, a static test was fired which indicates that the actual launch is happening soon. In this case, 2nd March 2019. After that, another in-flight abort test will be performed. This will happen in June tentatively and assume everything goes well. The first crewed flight will happen in July, sending Robert Bakken and Douglas Hurley to the International Space Station. Here is a complete list of things that needs to happen before the final manned flight. As you can see, Boeing and SpaceX are neck to neck on their launch timings. For the upcoming launch, Crew Dragon capsule would only stay in space for five days before it departs and descend back to Earth. This will give SpaceX team more time to collect data and understand the capsule's conditions so as to avoid any possible incident in the future. One thing noteworthy is that the same capsule will also be used for the in-flight abort test, thanks to its reusable design. Another interesting fact about this launch is a new crew bridge is installed for onboarding astronauts. Nothing much to discuss, it's just really futuristic, really good looking, and I want to share with you. Now, what's more important than the launch itself is what it represents and what happens after that. So far, only three countries have grasped crude capability, the United States, Russia, and China. It is essential for us to understand that crude flight is a lot harder to perform than on crude ones. Therefore, for the Crew Dragon, this is an important demonstration of capability for manned missions and is also a good test bed for future BFR missions. A lot of the essential data will be collected through the crewed launch. All of that knowledge will be used for the design of BFR and especially Starship. What instruments should be used to avoid micro-asteroid, what materials should be used for re-entry and radiation protection, so on and so forth. We shouldn't underestimate the tremendous hands-on experience and data SpaceX will collect along the way. This ties very well into SpaceX's future businesses. NASA's Journey to Mars project is the most critical project NASA is working on for the next decades. 
It includes a plan for a moon station and a Martian base. By sending astronauts to the International Space Station, SpaceX will be one of the only two companies that have the capability of sending people to the outer space. Therefore, SpaceX will be uniquely positioned to perform future Moon and Mars missions. Its capability and know-how could be a tremendous barrier for future competitions of funding because NASA will have to pay more if it wants to contract companies other than SpaceX for cargo resupply and crewed missions to the Moon and Mars. Therefore, not only is this mission critical for SpaceX businesses presently, the future potential is also tremendous. The highest possible success attainable for any tech startup is one that fits into the narratives of the future. Clearly, NASA's future lies with the Moon and eventually Mars. Successfully completing this mission is SpaceX's ticket to join NASA on its plan of the century and make billions of dollars along the way. I hope you guys can see how excited I am for this mission. NASA's journey to Mars plan might be grand, but it's no grander than our curiosity for space. A streaming service I've talked about on this channel and since loved personally is CuriosityStream. It is a subscription streaming service that offers over 2,000 documentaries, including exclusive originals from some of the world's best filmmakers. They have an entire section focused on space. So if you like this video, I'm sure you like their documentaries too. My recommendation for you today is this 18 episodes collection that focuses on essential matters of our universe. How to terraform Mars? Have we received signals from outside our solar system? Can we solve the mystery surrounding dark matter? If you're interested in any of those questions, do check out CuriosityStream. There's also good news for you. My buddy at CuriosityStream offered a 31 day free trial, so sign up with the link in the description down below with the code CuriousElephant and you're all set. Once your free trial is up, they only charge $19.99 a year, which is only $1.67 a month. So start binge watching and learning today with CuriosityStream. So recently I've been thinking about getting people on board to help me out with researchers. I have not thought it through, but I think a, a dedicated Discord channel and subreddit could be a good idea for it. So what I want you guys to do right now is to follow me at Lay Creatives on Twitter. So when the idea is finalized, you'll be the first one notified. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporter, especially the ones on the screen right now. Thank you all for sticking with me throughout this entire journey. All right, I'll see you guys next time.